Okay, so now that you've added the boundary, our next step is to save the drawing and create what's called a data shortcut. This will allow us to use the surface object in other drawings to do like the slope analysis that we're gonna do next and some other anal analyzing of this surface before we can get into designing our project. So if you haven't already, go ahead and click on the save icon above. And if you've already saved it, it's just gonna save that drawing. And if you haven't already saved it, you probably get a, a menu that pops up, pops up. And I'm gonna say uh, save as. So when it comes to say save as, what you'll do is let's save it to our site design existing site conditions folder. And we'll call it the original ground surface. That puts us in the proper folder and we can use this, like I said, to create the next step, which is to set up the data shortcuts. To set up the data shortcuts, what we have to do is first set the working folder. We wanna put that working folder within our project folder. So on the prospector tab, you'll scroll down to where you see data shortcuts. And you can see that we can make shortcuts of surfaces, alignments, pipe networks, pro pressure networks, corridors, and even view frame groups. So right here, you can see you got a couple brackets and there's no path in there. We have to set that path. So I'm gonna right click on this and we're gonna click set working folder. It's gonna bring up a dialog box and you can see it's automatically set to our Autodesk Civil 3D projects. We wanna put it with our site design Civil 3D. So you can go just the one level deep or go right into the site design and we can put it right into here. So site design Civil 3D, I'm gonna select that folder and it's, going to create the working folder. The next step is to right click and create a new data shortcut project folder. All right, so a little bit counterintuitive. Usually you start from the top, work down. We're going to start here and work up. So we're going to click on the new data shortcut folder. You can see that our working folder is the path that we set. And we're going to give this a name. We'll call it site design. We'll just call it training just to give it something a little bit different. You can put a description in and you can also use a project template. What a project template will do is it's a collection of folders. And when you go into that collection of folders, it'll set up and create subfolders. So right now you can see that this path, user, public documents, Autodesk, Civil 3D, Civil 3D project template, and it's got this project template folder. If we were to navigate out to this path, so I'm just going to copy this URL by selecting it, copying it, and we will go into this Windows Explorer. You can see the sample project. You'll see that it's going to create these folders inside of this project. So if you have your own standards, your own CAD standards, and you want to have your projects organized, you'll set those up and you can use that sample project or, you know, it could be for a particular uh, client that you're using, you'll set up these series of folders, but you'll see you've got external references, production drawings, documents, reports, and source drawings. So I'm just going to use the one, the default one, and we can always modify that later. So we'll use the project template to create these folders. So I'm going to click OK. And I'll show you what that does. So now you see that we've got this path. And if I go back to that Windows Explorer and we look in our C drive, we go to our Civil 3D or site design with Civil 3D inside of there, you'll see this folder is now here, right? Because it was created inside of this folder. It says site design training. When I click on that, you'll see that I've got a series of folders and it automatically created this one called shortcuts. Inside of that, you'll see that there's alignment surfaces, so on and so forth. So as we create the shortcuts for these civil 3D objects, they'll show up in one of these folders. So we'll move this guy down out of the way. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to right click on surfaces. I'm sorry, we're gonna right click on here and we're gonna create a data shortcut. So we're gonna right click on data shortcuts. 
and click on create data shortcut. It brings up a dialog box, gives us a little information here. And right now we only have one object, which is this original ground surface that we have. So we're gonna select that and I'm gonna click okay. So now that will create a shortcut. You can see over here, it's got original ground. We don't have any alignment yet, but you'll see that that gets populated as well. What this allows us to do is to use this surface and reduces the amount of data in another drawing. So we're gonna create a new drawing to do our analysis on, and we're just gonna use this surface object. That way, this existing drawing can be used by the mapping department maybe to finish up the existing ground mapping or we can use it in different areas. You'll see that as we move on to the plan production portion of this course, you'll get the uh, using these shortcuts and XREFs to create the drawings or the final drawings with the borders and title blocks and everything later on. So right now that's just creating the shortcut. We saved the drawing, we created the shortcut, we created the shortcut folder. Now we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at how to analyze a portion of this surface for our site design project.